The Bears might be about to pull off a masterstroke with a Chiefs lineman who has the potential to completely transform our offensive line. This guy is a beast who hasn't allowed a single quarterback sack all season. Could we see him in Chicago's colors? The competition is fierce, but with $73 million in cap space for 2025, the team is more than prepared to sign this star. This could be the game-changing move we need to protect our new gem on the field. Can you imagine that monster on the line? Speaking of beefing up our defense, how about replacing a two-time All-Pro with an up-and-coming talent from the Dolphins? This young guy is a playmaking machine and has everything it takes to be a key player in our defense for years to come. Could we see him taking charge of our secondary? The Bears are ready for a radical shift, and the options are on the table. If you think this is crazy, wait until you see how it all shakes out. And it's not all smooth sailing. The injury situation is hitting hard. One of our star defensive tackles is facing a major surgery, and several key players are out. Could this derail us in the coming weeks? Don't miss the full breakdown, because what's happening could completely change the course of our season. Stay tuned, because things are worse than they seem. Bears fans, listen up! We've got some news that could shake up the future of our team. And let me tell you this, if the Bears want to take the next step, they can't afford to miss the chance to snag a guy who could completely transform our offensive line. That's right! We're talking about Trey Smith, the guard from the Kansas City Chiefs, and rumor has it, the Chicago Bears are among the contenders to sign him in free agency. Now, let me ask you, how many times have we watched our offense struggle to keep our QB from getting killed out there? Offensive lines are everything when it comes to letting a quarterback, like Caleb Williams, shine. And that's where Trey Smith comes in, a 25-year-old beast who's not only a top-tier pass protector, but hasn't allowed a single sack this season. And don't even get me started on his run-blocking skills. This guy's a difference maker, not just a filler. So why do the Bears need Trey Smith? First off, we've got a desperate need at the right guard position. What if I told you that the team is projected to have $73 million in cap space for 2025? There it is! This is an opportunity we can't let slip by. And if Smith signs a $75 million for year deal, which would be a major boost to the offensive line, would Chicago be ready to make that move? Think about it, Trey Smith is a two-time Super Bowl champion with the Chiefs, a living proof that he knows what it takes to win at the highest level. Sure, the Chiefs will likely try to lock him down, because he's valuable to them, but the bottom line is, the Bears could seize this moment to make a big move in free agency. Now, let me tell you this, if Chicago wants Caleb Williams to succeed in his second season, they need to protect him better than ever. And that means strengthening that offensive line. With Trey Smith, the potential of this offense gets a serious boost, not just for pass protection, but for his ability to open holes in the running game. Isn't that what we need to give our running backs some space to make plays? So, Bears fans, I'm asking you, do you think Trey Smith is the perfect move to upgrade our offensive line and protect our future quarterback? Should the Bears take the risk and give him that big contract? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the future of the Chicago Bears defense is in Kevin Byard's hands? Let me tell you, friends, the situation could be taking an unexpected turn. Things are getting interesting. With the team looking to strengthen the defense to support Caleb Williams' growth, one name has jumped to the top of the speculation list, Jevon Holland, the star safety from the Miami Dolphins. Is this really what this defense needs? I believe this is a move they might seriously consider. Now, let me put this into context, Bayard has been a pillar for the Bears' secondary. But, come on! We can't ignore the reality, he's 31 years old, and his play has started to decline. Is this the type of player who's going to take the Bears to the next level? And when we think about it, Chicago could free up as much as $7 million in cap space if they cut Bayard before the new league year starts. This could be a smart move, guys! And here's where we dive into the discussion, Jevon Holland. This guy has something we all need to see. Last year, in just 12 games, he racked up 74 tackles, 3 forced fumbles, 4 passes defended, and even an interception. And what about his most memorable play? That strip on Travis Etienne in Week 1. That was next-level stuff. Holland has that knack for making big plays when they're needed most, and that's not something you see every day. But, of course, not everything is perfect. He has an injury history that can't be ignored. Last year, he suffered injuries to both MCLs and has been dealing with hand and knee issues this season. 
but at just 25 years old, his potential is still untapped. If he can stay healthy, he could be a key piece in the Bears' defense for many years to come. Now, I ask you, does it make sense for the Bears to take a risk on a player like Holland, who has such a high ceiling but comes with questions about his health? Should they stick with Bayard, who's more of a veteran piece, or take the chance to transform the defense with some fresh, younger blood packed with potential? The question is clear, and the future of the Bears' defense depends on these kinds of decisions. Here's my final thought, if the Bears want to truly compete big time in the next few years, they need to reinforce their defense. And Jevon Holland is exactly the type of player who could give them that spark. Will he be able to maintain the consistency and health needed to lead the back end of the defense? Only time will tell, but the potential is there. Now, I want to hear from you, Bears fans. Should the Chicago Bears gamble on Jevon Holland in free agency or keep trusting Kevin Byard for the near future? What's going on with the Bears? How can we have hope when the injury list just keeps growing? The nightmare continues. And don't get me wrong, I know the season isn't over yet, but with all these injuries, how are we supposed to overcome these obstacles? I'm telling you, these injuries are killing our chances and we need to talk about it, now. No turning back. Let's start with some tough news. Andrew Billings, one of the key pieces of our defense, suffered a pectoralis tear and needs surgery. And what does that mean? Well, in most cases, an injury like this requires a long recovery time. Yeah. I know what everyone's thinking, is this the end of the season for Billings? Probably. Even though Coach Eberfluss hasn't confirmed anything, it's hard to imagine him coming back this year. So I ask you, how are we going to keep defending without him? Our defensive line depth is getting thinner by the day, and that doesn't look good. What about the offensive line? Now we're looking at a situation where Darnell Wright and Braxton Jones, two of our starting tackles, are out with knee injuries. How are we supposed to protect our quarterback with this situation? Wright and Jones are at the core of our offense. Without them, protection's going to be a mess, and our running game won't have the same push. Eberfluss said Braxton is progressing well, but is it really enough to see them on the field this week? I don't think so. And to make matters worse, Jaquan Brisker, our safety, is still out with a concussion. He hasn't played since October 6th, and we all know that concussions are one of those injuries that take time to heal. Does that mean we should prepare our defense for another week without him? Definitely. This is not what we need going into the Patriots game. We need guys on the field. We can't keep losing players like this. Now, not everything's doom and gloom. Montez Sweat and Kyler Gordon are practicing on a limited basis after their respective injuries. Sweat, with a shin injury that kept him out of the Arizona game, looks like he's slowly working his way back. Is it going to be enough for him to make the impact we need on the field? I think we need more from him. And Gordon, don't even get me started. He's a key player in our secondary, but will he really be ready for this game after being out for so long? Who else do we have? Oh yeah, Daryl Taylor, the edge rusher, and Terrell Smith, the cornerback, were also practicing but in a limited capacity. Taylor's got a shoulder issue and Smith's dealing with an ankle injury, both of them suffering serious setbacks but still trying to get ready to play. Look, folks, what we're seeing here is a critical situation for the Bears. Injuries are starting to take over this team, and who's benefiting from this? No one! We can't keep going down the same road of injuries. We need our key players to be available, we need that consistency we haven't had so far. The Patriots, this Sunday at Soldier Field, are not going to give us any room for mistakes. Now, I ask you, what are we going to do about all this? Can we respond to all these setbacks and find a way to get back on track? Because with all this, the expectations for the season are starting to crumble. What do you all think, fans? Attention, Chicago Bears fans! Here we are, talking about some crucial moves that could shape the future of our team. So, my first question to you all is, do you think Trey Smith would be the perfect move to strengthen our offensive line and ensure protection for our future QB? Should the Bears take that risk and give him that big contract? I want to hear your thoughts, so drop them in the comments. Your voice matters. Now, let's move on to another important topic. What do you think, Bears fans? Should we make a play for Jevon Holland in free agency to improve our defense, or should we stick with Kevin Byard to secure our future in the defensive backfield? This is a key debate for next season, and I want to know what you think. 
leave your thoughts below and let's make this discussion even more interesting. And lastly, with all the injuries hitting us, do you think this is just a rough patch of bad luck or is there something else at play here against us? This topic is huge for the future of the team and your opinions have never been more valuable. Comment and tell me what you think. If you're a true Chicago Bears fan, this is the place for you. Join our community, where every debate and every discussion brings us closer to glory. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single bit of news. Hail to the Bears!